Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stepping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, you just keep on doing your life working, knowing that it's heading you towards a positive direction, knowing that you will get validations to let you know along the way. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. If you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or it's just you tell me about the up, you know, your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes and lifted up your spirits to the point where you want to go ahead and share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, this beautiful meditation music, which, which I think we all need, you know, at some time in our lives. Um, remove all negative blockage blockages, erase subconscious of negative patterns, and release unwanted thoughts. And I will post that link in the description box below. You know, we all need that sometimes because, you know, sometimes our mind can drift off into, you know, old patterns and, you know, negative thoughts, especially when we know good things are coming for us. You know, ego will trip up on you and make you have, you know, have you thinking about negative things. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Empaths, I know you feel the greatness going through you. I mean, like I keep on telling y'all about these, these different emails I've been getting, you know, y'all are starting to see, you know, some people still have, you know, questions that they're still, you know, questions that they're, you know, seeking for the answer for, but a lot of people also are seeing their path, they're seeing the reason why they had to go through the things they're going through, they're very grateful for all the things they're going through, and no one is taking them towards something bigger and better that we never imagined, and it's just like so many things, it's just like, Oh my gosh, it's a blessing because like I tell y'all, that sometimes I read y'all's comments and I'll be bawling. I'm like, oh, why do they do this to me? Why do they keep telling me these things? And then, I mean, you know, and it's just like, it's a beautiful thing because, you know, with us being empaths, you know, our trust is kind of shaky when it comes to people because we've been through hell and high water. We have been stabbed in the back. We have, you know, been disappointed been lied to, been used, and everything else. And you know, that's a hurtful thing. But knowing all those pains was like a life lesson we know we had to go through. We have to, you know, if we want to look for love, we have to go through that ultimate heartbreak. We have to be able to see ourselves at that lowest point to know we can rise above any daggone thing. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's just like, I constantly see y'all. You know, I, I know I'm getting better, Rosalind. I can see my future. I see these promising things happen. I'm falling in love. You know, I'm seeing my twin flame. I'm being in union. You know, there's so many di different beautiful things that I see y'all going through. And sometimes it takes somebody from the outside to say, you know what, you are really on the right path. You know, and sometimes we get worried. Like, we can be our own worst enemy. We can, you know, we can be down our own selves. Because there's sometimes I'm just like, I know I can do more. I know I'm doing more. I can do more. I can push myself to do a lot more. And it's like, sometimes I push myself and push myself to where I'm giving all y'all my vibes and energy. And it's like, when I need it for myself, I'm like, well, hell, Roz, you know, gave it all away. You ain't got nothing for yourself, so you're tired. But it's a good feeling when you know you can just give and give and give. And it's like, I'm not respected and, you know, expecting anything in return. I never, you know, I never ask y'all for that. And I just don't want it. It's just, the only thing I want to see is y'all doing better in your lives. You know, I hate to see somebody going through hard time and being sad and depressed, you know. So many people have been telling me they've been in situations recently where they wanted to take their own lives. And I mean, that, that broke my heart. But then it made me happy at the same time because they see that, you know, even times they wanted to give up. There was something that kept pushing them and pushing them to, keep, you know what, keep going. I know it's hard as hell. I know you're tired as hell. You know you get aggravated. But you know there is something that you keep pushing towards that, you know, it's like, it's not time yet. Just just keep going. Just be patient. Things are coming to you and you're feeling it. And I'm so glad that a lot of people are going that way 
and it's just a lot of people you know they're going through that but you know they need assistance along the way and i love the fact that i was you know my videos or just me talking to them was able to add that little piece of the puzzle or add some validation to their lives and knowing better things are coming for you you have to really just look at things because there's sometimes we're still healing off of things and blessings and signs comes to us and we're just like, oh, I don't want to see that. Because it's just like if you know you're heading towards the path and you know there are certain things that you put out to the universe. Oh, I want this. Oh, I want that. And all of a sudden you start seeing signs of things that you want is starting to come into fusion for other people in front of you. And that's not for something like nan and nan and nah, nah, I got mine and you didn't know. That's not what it is. And a lot of times we can be mad like why is God putting this in my face when they know I want the same thing. That's just to validate to you things that you want is coming towards you and they're sending those signs to validate that you know things are coming you just don't know when that that you know your, your upper level your upper echelon about to pop off at you and it's just like we have to have patience and knowing that you're sending out that positive thing because it's just like when we're on that different path you know we have to like I've said before you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable you have to do that. And you know, I might make a content of that. You got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. But it, it's just like when we do those things, we, we're changing. We're evolving. You know, even though it might be uncomfortable, but you know it was a must for you to have to do. And you feel that greatness growing inside of you. You know there there is positive purpose in your life that you are to be able to help the world through whatever craziness, crazy chaos that we are experiencing in the world. Because there's so much hell that is going around. We have to be able to push out love and light. It's just like I hate looking at the, the, the newspaper or the news because there's so many different things. Like anytime I... You know, um, see different things. There's mass shootings. There's a bombing. There's a war. The government acting crazy. I'm just like, you know what? I got enough on my plate. <laughs> if this is not something that I can change, let me not watch it. So it's just like, you know, I see the greatness flowing through me. I see the greatness flowing through you. And it's just a lot of times, like I've said before, we need that other person to validate looking from the outside in. Not really biased, but, you know, somebody that doesn't really know everything. Just, to, you know, you come at people. And it's just a lot of people are like, Rosalind, you know, you're the first person I've said this to. Or, you know, Rosalind, this is the first time I actually opened up and tell somebody. And they were happy they did. Because I never judged anybody. You know, I never said, you know, you shouldn't have did this, you shouldn't have did that. Because it's like, we all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. But when you know you're trying to correct your, you know, right your wrongs and, you know, be a better person, that's all that matters. It ain't where you came from is where you're at. And that's why, you know, that's a blessing. Don't matter where you came from is where you're at. What, what your past has brought you as in a person right now. What state of mind you're in. You, you could have went through hell. You could have been in jail, locked up, whatever. But if it, after all this hell and the hot water you've been through and out the fire you came and you came out a new and revived person that's out here being the best, and best they can be, that's all that matters. And I hope you're able to see that in yourself. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I missed y'all so much for the last 24 to, 480, 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to go ahead and try to have live feed up for today. Y'all go ahead and look for it in your post notifications. You know, I'm not going to, I, I was saying at first that I'm going to have it done every day. But then there's times I've reached out. I got so much on my plate, y'all. I don't want y'all to think I'm lying to y'all because I really, when I really want to put live out, and I do, I do. But there are some times I say, you know, I want to put live out. But I've done so much interacting with so many other empaths that where I'm sending out love for this. Or I'm putting so much energy in my videos and pushing that on to into my videos to send out to y'all. You know, there are so many times I've had validation saying, Rosalyn, I can really feel your energy through, you know, your videos, your words, through the meditation. You know, I try to send out as much positivity as I possibly can because it's just like when I put up positive thumbnails videos you know make y'all laugh make you realize that better things are coming for you even though you might be going through hell and high water right now trust and believe it's not gonna always be that way you know it has to storm sometimes before the rain comes out but you have to be able to dance in the rain to be able to appreciate the sun too so send out as much love and like positivity as you possibly can much love to you knowing that you're blessed highly favored and truly loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and 
Uh, post notification shout out goes to Frederick. Much love to you. Congratulations on your 423. Much love to you, boo. And I hope everything is going good for you. And y'all drop me a line or two and give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And hit that notification button and let me know you're on a notification squad so I can give you a shout out on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.